Welcome back to the channel guys, Arte here from Giraffe Media, here to talk about the wing from Pepperdine, Maxwell Lewis. Exploding onto the scene in his sophomore year, the 6'7 forward is averaging 19 points, 3 assists and 6 rebounds per game while shooting 55% from the field and 45% from behind the arc as of December 25th. He's second in points per game in the West Coast Conference only behind Drew Timmy from Gonzaga. His well-roundedness paired alongside his prototypical frame and elite shooting ability has propelled him into a potential lottery selection. Maxwell Lewis showcased his NBA-level athleticism in both transition and off the catch. While not his primary skill, his size and viable athleticism will be beneficial to his pro career. His ability to play off the ball will certainly be expanded on in the NBA. Whether it be filling his lane correctly in transition or a simple give-and-go motion, Maxwell Lewis has flashed the ability to play alongside other players without the need of the ball. However, where I feel Lewis needs the most improvement is his explosiveness. He struggles to get by defenders off the dribble and is either forced into a halted dribble or is putting up a heavily contested shot. Of course this is problematic for a variety of reasons, but most notably it will hinder his efficiency and can cause live ball turnovers due to the inability to keep his dribble alive when attacking. On the flip side, he has shown some flashes of changing speed and direction to generate good looks at the basket. This is a great sign to see in prospects who aren't the most explosive but still find a way to impact the game. This shows how adaptive a player is which is one of the most important traits when evaluating a prospect in my opinion. Lewis is averaging right over 3 free throw attempts per game and shooting an outstanding 85.4% from the line. The biggest takeaways from this is just how legitimate of a shooter Maxwell is. true three-level scorer, Maxwell Lewis has shown how effective he is from the mid-range. He has a good-looking pull-up and is also able to create space for himself. To me, effective mid-range scoring from perimeter players is what separates good players from great players in the NBA due to how important shot creation can be in crunch time. Despite how efficient Maxwell has been, he has attempted a handful of off-balance mid-range shots which cause his shot to be flat and way off the mark. With NBA training, I believe the coaches will be able to fix this bad habit of Lewis's. However, it is still a notable fault in his game that should be highlighted. Unquestionably, the biggest appeal in Lewis's game is his ability to shoot from behind the arc with a 6'7 frame. He's been elite in catch and shoot situations, shooting nearly 45% from 3 on 5 attempts per game. This adds to Lewis's ability to play off the ball which will allow him to find success on every NBA team. He has a quick, fluid jumper that looks smooth and has been very effective thus far. His efficient game is translated to 119.3 offensive rating which is 7th in the West Coast Conference. He's also been able to shoot off the dribble from behind the arc. He loves to use the patented LeBron step back but also uses a more traditional one as well. Lewis has one of the smoothest looking jump shots in the entire draft and his diverse offensive game will be a nightmare for opposing teams. Adding to the versatility of his game, Maxwell Lewis is also effective from the post. He's able to back down defenders well and loves going up with both hands, somewhat like a close fadeaway shot. Lewis has also utilized the mid-range fadeaway shot from the post and has looked good doing so. Maxwell has so many tools to create his own offense but will also be a complementary piece to surrounding players.
another way Maxwell impacts the game is his playmaking. He's averaging nearly three assists per game, doing it in a variety of ways. He makes the extra pass, but also has shown the ability to playmake out of the pick and roll, as well as putting pressure on the defense with dribble penetration. However, another fault in his game is his lack of ball security. He's averaging close to three a game, putting him at a one-to-one -one assist to turnover ratio. He's had turnover issues in the past as well in his freshman season. However, he has been able to bring down his turnover percentage from 18% to 16.9%. Nevertheless, he will need to figure out how to take better care of the ball. Lewis is averaging right under 6 rebounds per game with right over 1 coming on the offensive end. Rebounding is one of the more underrated aspects of the game, so to see a player who already has the 5th highest usage rate in the West Coast Conference stick around to close out defensive possessions is a huge plus in my opinion. Finally, on the defensive end is where a lot of Lewis's draft stock comes from as well. I sound like a broken record, but he has a 6'7 frame as well as a 6'10 wingspan with all the physical tools needed to be a plus defender. He moves well laterally and is able to recover well when opposing players are able to get past him. Lewis has also averaged 1.2 blocks per game and has looked really good on chase down defense, which goes back to his ability for late recovery on broken defensive possessions. His long arms have also allowed him to be a ball hawk in the passing lanes, averaging 1.2 steals per game. He has good timing which has allowed him to jump passing lanes without gambling. My NBA comparison for him is Aaron Wiggins from the OKC Thunder. While I do believe Lewis will have a much more expanded role on whatever team he may land on, the similarities in their playstyle are undeniable. Lewis is an elite shooter who can create offense for himself and others, much like Wiggins. What I believe separates the two is Lewis's defensive prowess. So for this comparison, it is strictly for playstyle and not career trajectory. My draft projection for Maxwell Lewis is a surefire top 10 pick. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to join the Draft Media family.